from the Digital Media Center on the campus of Southern Oregon University in Ashland, Oregon. This is Ramping Up Your English, an educational program for intermediate level English language learners. Here's your host for Ramping Up Your English, John Letts. Welcome to Ramping Up Your English, winner of the Southern Oregon Television Award for Program of the Year and the Award for Best Educational Program. I'm the host and producer, John Letts. Ramping Up Your English is an educational support program for intermediate English learners. It's a program for people from all language backgrounds. Ramping Up Your English is also for people of all ages. If you've already passed the beginning stages of learning English and want to reach higher levels of proficiency, this program is designed to meet your needs. See, we take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher levels of English proficiency. Our current thematic unit is Animals. This is segment one of episode 63. In our last episode, we saw how some information when researching an animal's life cycle, including the fascination, the fascinating life cycle of salmon. Now, it's a cycle that has very distinct stages, beginning with eggs, changing from a freshwater fish to a saltwater fish, and ending with a spawning migration, resulting in eggs for a new generation and the death of the mature salmon. In the world of mammals, many offspring soon grow to be smaller copies of their parents long before they reach maturity. Many mammals are noted for careful and lengthy care of their offspring. This footage is interesting. One cub stays closest to the mom while the other two lag behind. Now watch how this goes. The mama bear waits for the brood to catch up, but she's leading them somewhere, so she sets out again. And that closest cub decides to group with its siblings and the separation ensues. Now with this being the case, mama bear comes back to the cubs. It's evident that parenting, even in the animal world, requires a great deal of patience. Instruction is also a part of mammal upbringing. Now these two brown bear cubs are getting big in size, yet they depend on their mother to teach them how to get food. She leads them to a stream where they can watch her fish, thus learning the methods that secure the greatest amount of energy at the least cost in energy. Many animals pass on their learning to their offspring. This mother baboon is teaching an essential skill to her baby. These social animals use grooming to form bonds with each other. The importance of those bonds goes far beyond individuals. Such activities preserve harmony in the group. So the lesson begins early in life of the offspring. And with all the tension that goes with social grouping, this group harmony is vital to the survival of the group and its members. All across the earth, life cycles allow animals to continue their populations through countless generations, both in reproduction, protection, and sometimes teaching. So we spent the last three episodes on finding and reporting on an animal's life cycle. You may find this information in a Wikipedia, a website, or on a conservation group uh, website, or the Fish and Wildlife Service of the United States, or of your state in which you live. Also, some educational websites, the website of a zoo, Wild House, Wildlife Rehabilitation Center, Wildlife Park, the web of the America's National Wildlife Refuges, or a good old-fashioned encyclopedia, or a book on the animal you're researching. The information may be organized under headings like reproduction, breeding, mating, and or rearing. Now, our last episode contains some sentence frames you can use to tie these interesting facts together. As with all parts of your animal report, be sure to give credit to the source of information that you're using and use quotation marks for those times when you use the source's direct words. And those should be few since you want to learn and practice the connecting words that communicate the facts you find. There's more to an animal report than the life cycle. Uh, we'll look into another area of research 
when we return. Organization that's doing big time restoration of forests and stream banks. Hello, I'm John Lex, producer of Adventures in Education.